Regeneration is the process of repairing and growing parts of organs, tissues, or cells after being injured. Regeneration is different from reproduction. If reproduction produces new individuals, regeneration produces new organs, tissues, or cells from the process of repairing cells that have been damaged. If the regeneration process in humans takes a long time, some superheroes are able to regenerate in a short time. Some superheroes also adapt the abilities possessed by several animals, for example Spider-Man, Batman, and Ant-Man. Unfortunately, superheroes live in a fantasy world, but some animals prove that they have super abilities, even though it is a common ability for these animals. And this is an animal that has extraordinary regeneration abilities like Deadpool and Wolverine. Starfish Starfish are a group of marine invertebrates. This animal is known for its ability to regenerate amputated limbs. The limbs are flexible arms attached to a central disc. The central disc is important for regeneration in nearly all starfish species. A starfish that has had its arm cut off will first undergo a repair phase to heal any open wounds. Once the wound has healed, the starfish can start producing new cells, which eventually trigger new growth. Regeneration can take months to years. If the regeneration process doesn't go well, the resulting new limbs can change shape. Starfish reproduce both sexually and asexually. The asexual way is to divide the central disc into several parts. Sea stars can also amputate limbs to escape predators. The starfish that has lost its arm will then heal itself and grow a new arm. Uniquely, the newly severed arm also has the possibility to completely regenerate and become an adult starfish. Regenerating from a severed limb without a central disc for some species of starfish, it is possible to grow a new central disc and four additional arms. Then they are able to become new starfish with perfect shape. Red Stag The red stag is a species of moose and is the fourth largest extant deer species. Male red deer are known as red stag or red heart, while female deer are called hind. Red stags live throughout most of Europe, the Caucasus Mountains region, Anatolia, Iran, and parts of Western Asia. Only the male deer have antlers, which start growing in the spring and fall off at the end of each winter. The antlers measure a total length of 71 centimeters and weigh 1 kilogram, although the larger ones can grow up to 115 centimeters and weigh 5 kilograms. The fallen antlers then grow back. The growing antlers are made of bone and covered with a hairy skin called velvet. The function of the velvety skin on the newly growing antler is to supply oxygen and nutrients to the growing bone. What makes the red stag a place on this list is the deer's ability to grow its antlers up to 2.5 centimeters per day. The antlers of red stag are strongly influenced by testosterone levels. When autumn arrives, the red stag experiences a drop in testosterone levels that causes the velvet to fall off and the horns to stop growing. Conversely, when winter arrives, red stag testosterone production starts to build up to approach the mating season. Red deer also have the ability to grow thicker fur in winter to help them stay warm. The red deer is also able to grow a mane around its neck in spring. There are several reasons why deer shed their antlers in spring and grow antlers in winter. One is to dig up food that is covered by layers of ice. And like all animals with horns, red stags also attract mates and protect themselves with antlers. Salamander Amphibians are animals that can live in two habitats, namely land and water. The most famous example of an amphibian is the frog, but there are animals other than frogs that are able to live in two habitats. Like frogs, salamanders are amphibians. However, because it is less popular, many people do not know this animal. Salamanders have a lizard-like shape. Although they look similar at first glance, salamanders are not lizards. Salamanders are classified as amphibians, while lizards are reptiles. Salamanders consist of various species that have different respiratory organs. 
some breathe using lungs, some use gills, and some even breath through their skin. Some salamander species have four legs, but some species have two. The salamander's smooth and moist skin makes it unable to live in dry places. The salamander must be in a place close to a water source. Like frogs, salamanders also undergo metamorphosis starting from eggs which then become larvae and eventually become adult salamanders. The size of salamanders also varies. Some are up to 1.8 meters long and weigh up to 63 kilograms, like the giant Japanese salamander to the smallest, with the size of only 1.3 centimeters. Salamander also has the extraordinary ability to regenerate injured limbs. Just as a lizard is able to regrow its tail, a salamander is also able to regrow severed limbs. A salamander that has lost all four of its legs will have no problem, as they will grow back exactly as they were before. Currently scientists are studying how salamanders can regrow limbs and looking for ways that similar regeneration can be applied to humans. Flatworms Flatworms have the potential to live forever in the world. Worms known as planarian are able to prevent aging by maintaining telomere length, which is an important part of DNA during regeneration. Planarian worms have attracted the attention of scientists because of their extraordinary regenerative abilities. A planarian worm cut crosswise or lengthwise will both produce two worms that live separately. Such ability allows planarian worms to reproduce sexually or asexually, namely by dividing. Cut planarian worms both exhibit limitless regeneration abilities by repeatedly growing new muscle skin, intestines, and even entire brains. Even worms that reproduce asexually or are slaughtered are also capable of renewing a supply of key enzymes that make them immortal. A flatworm that is cut in half, the tail section will regenerate the wound and form a new head to become a new adult flatworm, while the head section will form a tail until it is intact as before. However, if the planarian worm is cut too thin, Growth will not be complete, and two heads will form at each end. All of the abilities that planarian worms have are of course influenced by the worm's ability to lengthen telomeres. Telomeres are sections of DNA that seal the ends of chromosomes, thereby protecting worms from damage and aging. The shorter the telomeres, the faster an individual will experience aging. Axolotl the axolotl is a large salamander from Lake Xochimilco, Mexico. Axolotls belong to a group of salamanders known as mole salamanders. An adult axolotl is 30 centimeters long from nose to tip of tail and weighs 300 grams. Axolotl has gills that are outside the body and on the side of the head, which gives it a horn-like appearance. Eastern people also associate these animals with dragons, so they are also called dragonfish. Axolotls live underwater by eating small fish, worms, and larvae. They sometimes appear on the surface of the water, but when adults never surface and stay on the bottom of the lake all their lives. The axolotl belongs to a dangerous type of salamander because it can spit salty poison from its mouth. But if the glands are removed properly, then this animal can be made into a cute pet. Another uniqueness possessed by the axolotl is that it is able to regrow limbs, fangs, skin, organs, parts of the brain, injured spine, and even the heart, so that it grows back to its original state. While some other animals have the ability to regenerate, only the Mexican salamander can regrow so many amputated body parts. Axolotl is also capable of metamorphosis according to needs when circumstances are forced. If the water source dries up, the axolotl will change to a land form, i.e. lose the gills that are outside. However, if the water supply is available again, the axolotl will return to the water state and grow its gills. So that's it guys, some animals that have extraordinary regeneration abilities. Do you think there are other animals that have extraordinary regeneration abilities that we haven't mentioned? Please write your comments below and don't forget to like the video if you like it, or dislike the video if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.